Megan Carter Davis, world champion. What an amazing thing to say. What an amazing thing to hear. I'm sure it's not going to sink in for quite a while. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, just run us through your race, first of all, whether you thought it was a good one for you. Yeah, no, I, it didn't feel good um, in the sense that I kept stopping to check my route choices, but it was quite a tricky sprint and I knew I just wanted to get the route choices right. So I literally stood still about four times, I think, in that, in that race. And, um, but yeah, I guess I executed everything well. And, um, there was only like one little point where I almost ran down the wrong alley and almost got blocked because I hadn't seen this like wall in three choices. Uh, so yeah, I carried on around this way. But apart from that, it was just like fine. It wasn't like I was expecting like, oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'm going to come like fourth or something. But at least I'm checking my route choices. Good thing. At least I'm not going to do anything like really stupid. I'm quite happy with this as it is. And then like I heard someone shouting in the streets like, this is for gold. <laughs> and I was just like, nah. <laughs> and then it came in, came down the run and it was. <laughs> yeah, and it, it was convincing in the end. Was was that your tactic to really actually stop and take, check your route choices and, and use that time? Yeah, no, I wasn't planning to stop at all. Uh, like in the knockout sprints, for example, I was able to keep running the whole way. There were like some easy controls where you could kind of look ahead and plan. But today I just wasn't really able to look ahead. So I don't know if maybe like the short controls were just a tiny bit like trickier. You could have to think like, keep on, on it a bit more, you know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm amazed. <laughs> Well, we are, you've been matching Tova so well through this whole year. Yeah. And um, what, has, what do you think you've really improved on this year to kind of make it and have that opportunity to win the gold? Yeah, literally just self-belief, like believing that I can do it. I think ASOM really helped winning those races there on the normal ones. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can fight for medals now. Um, and I think that gives me like the level of focus that I need. It, it's a lot easier to focus on winning a race for me than um, coming like 10th to 30th position where you're not sure where you're going to end up. Like, it's just more how I normally race in Britain. Like, I'm always going to go for the win now. So, um, yeah, it's cool that I can now race like that and will jump. <laughs> And I'm speaking of, you know, in Britain, what an amazing feeling to share that podium with Alice. Yeah, absolutely. Like, the team is so strong at the moment. And I felt like Alice also could have been in the Scrum Relay team. Like, all three of us are very strong. And Grace as well. Like, any of us could have been in the team. Um, but, like, I think we're all very deserving of medals. And to see Alice actually get the medal as well herself is yeah, awesome. She could be deserved. It means Britain second nation in the medal table yeah. overall. I mean... And what does that say coming up to Edinburgh in two years' time? Yeah, I think um, still not going to put pressure on it because you can crack into pressure. You just enjoy it. Like, yeah, we're up there now. It doesn't take a special race to be up there. So, yeah, just keep doing what we're doing. Well, fingers crossed for good stuff. In yeah, Edinburgh. fingers crossed. Go and enjoy that. Go and celebrate. You're the best in the world at the sprint discipline. Congrats, Meg. Thank you very much.